Hello everyone, I've been working on a new clid. I added the smooth lighting. I made it so that the player can pretty easily change gravity with these new uh, tools. And you can also open doorways now, which is nice. And they actually are pretty good. They're not perfect, but they're pretty close. Yeah, there's some over there. But anyway, I was playing with it and I uh, figured out you could do something kind of fun, which is what I call a gravity run. And basically it's just this. The floor turns into like, I don't know, something you just slide down and then you can be launched somewhere. It's kind of fun. I've got my doorways working, so I'm just going to start fresh. So you can just place one, like this, and it's pretty smooth uh, most of the time, which is nice. And you have the lighting working on the inside and everything. Uh, this is where it's not smooth. I don't know why it's doing that right now. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and build something just to demonstrate a little cool feature. Just building a floor. So there we go. All right, so let's uh, let's play with this gravity tool. So right now we can just be over here. Yay, whatever. This is a wall. Cool. Um, let's change that. So this tool, how to use it, is you click in the direction you want gravity to go. In this case, the wall. So I just click there, and then... Uh, I place the start position, so let's say I want it to be here. And this is essentially a 3D cursor. And then uh, you'll see that it disappears once we decide where we want the gravity to be. There we go. Bam. So that's pretty fun. Uh, then what we can do is go ahead and place a doorway. Now this is kind of a bug. You can, uh, the floor of the inside the door will be opposite to here, but you can still go through. That was trippy. <laughs> that actually was pretty trippy, but for me, um, I don't know about you, but yeah, so there's our floor up there. This is just kind of bizarre. But there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Yeet!